Welcome to the first Flame Extinguisher software release for 2023. One of the key features of this release is the update of the Flame Launcher. With the latest version, you can easily retrieve the software version and your Flame device's registration and subscription status. The latest software release features four new fire incidents and two evacuation procedures. Our new ambulance scenario is designed to simulate an oxygen tank regulator fire. In this scenario, the trainee must extinguish the fire while their colleague paramedic attends to the patient in the back of a moving ambulance, rushing to the hospital. This scenario is particularly relevant for hospitals and ambulance services as it offers an opportunity to practice responding to a fire incident while also addressing a patient's needs in a high-pressure environment. The new school bus fire incident scenarios were developed after analyzing recent data from the U.S. government, which reveals that such events occur daily. Drivers are often caught off guard due to the lack of adequate training. One of the scenarios features a school bus engine fire where the trainee assumes the role of the bus driver, evacuates the children, and decides whether to fight the fire. In the other scenario, a child playing with matches ignites a cabin fire. The trainee must evacuate the children and extinguish the fire using the correct procedures. The forklift fire scenario involves an electric forklift catching fire while moving goods in a warehouse. This scenario draws attention to the growing incidence of lithium-ion battery fires in various industries and workplaces. To handle such fires, a quick but thoughtful response is necessary. Finally, we have the garbage bin fire incident. It's important for fast food outlets, convenience stores, and other businesses dealing with discarded rubbish to repair their workforce for this fire. In this scenario, a fire is started in a trash bin outside a fast food truck. A new Class D extinguisher has been introduced to address combustible metal fires, like the one in our magnesium fire scenario. This software release includes several improvements to enhance user experience and system functionality. A prompt will now appear at the start of any teleport-enabled scenario to inform you if teleportation is required or advised. The Flame Capture Dashboard will now provide learning access to data such as selection of the appropriate extinguishing suppressant, the technique and method used to extinguish the fire, the time taken to extinguish the fire, the distance kept from the fire, and whether the right safety procedures were executed. This data provides valuable insights to trainers and trainees to evaluate and improve their fire safety skills and knowledge. And it's a great addition to the compliance report available to organizations on the completed training. With the completion of this release, we now have 64 flame extinguisher scenarios, over 250 customers across 45 countries and seven continents, and can deliver training in 28 languages. We can't wait to show you what our team is working on next. Until then, please follow us on our social media channels, and of course, let us know what you think of the latest update.